I caught my co-worker drawing charts by hand, so I showed him a faster way. And it auto-updates. Like and follow for daily tips. Friend, how much will my CD be worth at maturity? Me, this is how you can calculate it on your own. Select the initial deposit. Multiply by 1 plus the annual interest rate. Raise this to the power of the deposit length in years. To calculate how much interest has accumulated, subtract the value at maturity by the initial deposit. Play around with the data to see how much more you could earn. Wowzers, thanks. You're welcome, and don't forget to like and follow for daily tips. My boss wants an easy way to track attendance, so this is what I showed him. Calculate the attendance percent with this formula. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't plot sales data like this. Instead, use Python in Excel. Type equals PY, then press tab. Name your data frame, then reference the data table. Control plus enter. Control shift alt P is another way to enter Python mode. Reference the data frame sales column. Then type this code to plot the sales data. Control enter. Change the output to Excel value. Switch to a line chart simply by changing bar to line. Like and follow for daily tips. Whoever has the highest total sales wins a free car. I know just the formula to find out who wins. Check this out. Type in XLOOKUP. For the lookup value, use max to find the largest value in the total sales column. Select the total sales column for the lookup array. For the return array, select the full name column. Yay, I win. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop on hiding rows and columns with the right-click menu. Instead, go to the Automate tab. Select Unhide All Rows and Columns. Click Run. Like and follow for daily tips. Co-worker. This is a waste of time. Me. Try this instead. Select all of the data. Press Alt, H, L, N. Type in this formula. Change the format. Thanks, but I get paid hourly. I'm going to stick with my method. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop merging cells. It doesn't let you select single columns. And it doesn't let you sort data. Instead, select the cells you want to merge. Press Control-1. Go to the Alignment tab. Change General to Center Across Selection. 
copy of the format to all Apply Cable cells. Now you'll be able to select columns and even sort data, like and follow for daily tips. Don't fill blanks this way. Instead, start by pressing Control A. Then, press F5. Go to Special. Select Blanks. Type Equals and press the up arrow. Then, press Control Enter. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop drawing stars like this. Instead, select the entire column, then type at rating. Like and follow for daily tips. Want to create a fully functional checkbox tracker like this? Here's a full step-by-step -step tutorial. Press Ctrl A to select all. Press Alt, H, B, and A to apply borders. Select the area to add checkboxes. Then press Alt, N, C, and 1. Check off the boxes as necessary. In the progress column, type in this formula which tracks the percentage of boxes checked off so far. Double click the lower right corner to fill down the formula. Display the numbers as percentages. In the current step column, enter this formula to track the step that must be performed next in order to move forward in the project. Fill down this formula. Select this area of the table. Press Alt, H, L, and N to create a new conditional format. Enter this formula to highlight projects that haven't started in red text. Select the first progress cell and press F4 to lock the column only. Set this equal to zero. Change the format to red text. Press Alt, H, L, and R to add more conditional formats. Duplicate the rule. Then edit the rule. Modify the formula to progresses greater than zero. Then change the font color to gray. Duplicate the rule one more time. Edit this rule for values equal to one. Change this font color to green. Apply the formats and press OK. Now you have a fully functional checkbox tracker. Make sure you like and follow cheat sheets for daily tips. The slow way to fill in blank cells. Versus the fast way. Press Ctrl T to create a table. Change the table name to something relevant to the data. Go to the Automate tab. Click New Script. Enter this script. Change table 1 to the table name created earlier. Click Run and watch the blank cells autofill. Save this script to reuse it any time you need to fill blank cells. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop typing numbers one by one. Instead, press Alt, H, F, I, and S. Click Columns. Then Linear, and type a stop value. Now you have a full list of numbers up to the stop value. Like and follow for daily tips. Here's an Excel tip to impress your boss. In a random cell, type minus 1. Select the minus 1 and copy it. Select a list of negative numbers. Then press Control, Alt, and V. Select Multiply. Now all of the negative numbers have been converted to positives. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop using the sum function. There's a better way. 
press alt and equals. You can even select multiple ranges to sun everything at once. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't filter data like this. Press Ctrl T to create a table. Click Insert Slicer. Choose Region. Go to Slicer tab and change columns to 4. Resize the slicer box. Move the box above the data table. Click any region. Hold Ctrl to select multiple. Press here to clear the filters. Like and follow for daily tips. Here's an Excel tip I bet you didn't know. To transpose data, press Ctrl A to select all. Press Ctrl C to copy. Press Ctrl V, Ctrl and V to transpose. For a more dynamic version, use the transpose function. Press Ctrl Shift down arrow and Ctrl Shift right arrow to select all. This version is dynamic, so when you change the source data, the reference data also changes. Like and follow for daily tips. Here's an Excel tip that'll impress your boss. Select the data. Press Alt and F1 to insert a chart. Right click and change the chart type. Choose the 3D stacked column chart. Double click the chart. Choose these options. Click the orange portions. Select cylinder. Change the depth and width to 100%. Change the color to white and set the transparency to somewhere around 60%. Select the blue portions. Change the color to yellow. Add data labels to include the percentage remaining. Now you have a working cylinder chart. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop sorting data like this. Automate it with this instead. Right-click the Worksheet tab and go to View Code. Change General to Worksheet. Enter this code. Go back to the worksheet. Now each new entry auto sorts the data. Like and follow for daily tips. If you're doing this, you're doing it wrong. Do it faster with this shortcut. Press Ctrl, Shift, L to add filter buttons. Uncheck current. Select the data. Press Alt, semicolon to select only the visible cells. Then, press Ctrl minus to remove the visible cells. Click the filter button and select all. Now all of the expired members have been removed. Like and follow for daily tips. Do this if you get paid hourly. Do this if you get paid salaried? Press Ctrl D to fill down. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't copy web data like this.
Go back to the website. Copy the web address. Go back to Google Sheets. Use the import HTML function. Paste the web address here. Next type table. This table's index number equals 1. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop manually entering data. Instead, type at dropdowns. Enter option 1 for the dropdown. Then customize the dropdown chip's color. Repeat the process for all the options. Double click to fill down. Click each chip to select from the list. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop typing out names like this. Use one simple function instead. Type text join. Use a space as the delimiter. Type true to ignore empty text. Select the first, middle, and last names each separated by a comma. Double click to fill the formula down. Like and follow for daily tips. Why do 98% of people count colors by hand? They should be doing this instead. Select the cell to the right of a colored cell. Go to the Formulas tab. Click Name Manager. Click New. Enter a name like Get Color Code. Type in this formula. Type in Get Color Code. Enter this formula. Like and follow for daily tips. What I wish I knew in 2023 instead of 2024. Go to the Insert tab. Click checkbox. Enter this formula. Go to the Home tab. Select Conditional Formatting. New Rule. Format cells that contain equal to type in complete click format change the fill color to light green and change the font effects to strike through check each box to mark it as complete like and follow for daily tips if you don't like excel but still want a job then do this press Control e like and follow for daily tips. I think I messed up. Here's what to do instead. Press Control A, then Alt H O I, and Alt H O A. Like and follow for daily tips. I caught my teacher highlighting absent students like this. So I showed them this. Select the data. Press Alt H L N. Like and follow for daily tips. I think I messed up. Instead, press Control A, then Control H. In the Find What box, type a single space. Leave the Replace with box empty. Hit Replace All. Like and follow for daily tips.